Good morning, folks. Parent at Otter Creek Farm. I am out here today, snuck out during the week to get some work done. And uh, what I'm showing you is the fact that we have had a lot of rain. This is usually our dry season, and in the last week we have had a couple inches of rain in a very short period of time. So it has caused uh, a setback in getting things done. Fortunately, I was able to get a lot done as far as moving dirt. And you may have recalled seeing in some of the other videos how there were two additional large piles back there by the pond. I, I used that dirt on this road in front. This is the main road, and as well as in the camp area. to just raise up some of the low areas and it's a constant you know, effort. Uh, this road here hadn't been maintained in a long, long time so uh, it definitely has some low spots and uh, the gate was like a pond itself. It was probably eight inches deep and I uh, had to get the rubber boots on just to get to the gate to get it open. So I brought a lot of dirt up there and filled it in. It's not hard packed and it's definitely not done. I've got to raise the gate uh, so I can add more sand to that, uh, but once it gets above the, the future water line, uh, it'll harden up and it'll be just fine for an entrance road. I can't, don't want to make it too crazy, uh, you know, because I probably have to, have to bring in a shipping container and other things that I won't be able to move in and out. So you can't be that, uh, that narrow, and yeah, this definitely has to be, uh, you know, hard and ready to go. So uh, right now, let's see if I get this turned around so I can show you. There we go. All right, so hopefully you can see that. So everywhere where you're seeing fresh sand was deep under water. And uh, not only was it under water, but because I would come and go more often than the previous owner, it was turning into a problem. So I uh, had to do something about it. And I'm not the type, when I, especially when I have the dirt available, to actually get something done, I'm gonna work on it. So I'm gonna pull up here and jump out for a second and then kind of walk you through what I did. Nothing extraordinary, but just part of the process. So you may enjoy seeing it in case you've got a similar problem. All right, so here we go. So you can see I still got big ruts in the road here, but since this was all under water, as I even started to bring dirt in, the water just didn't have a place to go because we're kind of in a bowl through here. You can see the pine row on that side is a little bit higher. You got a pine row on this side. So uh, I think the water is coming back from the road on both sides and then basically just draining into this area as being the lowest area around. So what I'm starting to do is pile dirt along there. So if anything comes down the ditch, it doesn't automatically just roll into this area. And then what I had to do was start to dig out low areas and uh, if I can get the excavator in here take a couple scoops out basically create about a three foot wide canal on that side maybe a slight depression on this side and then build this area up with this good uh, material and as it hardens out then this will become a raised road with a place for the water to drain so even if it floods it will more quickly drain off into the low spots and uh, in case you're wondering what I'm doing right now I'm actually grabbing the tractor and heading up to borrow a rear blade from a neighbor because our main road is in terrible, terrible shape and I'm going to try to put it back together. We got a little bit of a dry spell, but the, uh, the ruts are extremely deep right now on the main road and it's inhibiting the use of the, uh, the road. The, uh, the road was tore up by a logging company who did some logging down the road about a quarter mile and they did not fix the road after they jacked it up. So I am off to do that. The, uh, the other thing that happened, which I'm, I'm gonna hopefully you can see, right here, right there, I actually broke the weld on the bucket. I had the bucket too far forward, had too much forward pressure on it, trying to dig out the, uh, the ditches on the side of the road. And you, can, you probably can't see it, but this is slightly bent. This actually pushed up and popped this out. A piece of metal broke right here. So I busted out the welder, put a gusset in, welded that in, welded this back in after using a sledgehammer to drive it back down. 
and uh, hopefully it's stronger than it was before. So, little another, I should say, lesson learned in working off-road, and uh, <laughs> this one wasn't as expensive as the uh, the top arm. So I'm I'm grateful. So let's go get the uh, let's go get the the back blade and get to work on pulling some of this dirt back in the road and straightening things out. Okay, so I got the back blade on here. Unfortunately, it's a small one. That's maybe four or five feet. Uh, looks like it's going to be a little bit challenging to get it outside of the uh, tractor tires, but uh, I think it's going to reach. And uh, I realize I've got it tilted to the wrong side, so I'm going to swing it back over to the left because my right arm is the one that articulates up and down. So I will be able to do a better job at uh, pulling the dirt in and then working to move it towards the center of the road and hopefully put a little bit of a crown on it. There's way too much dirt on that road right now for me to do anything with, but my first time used a rear blade, so I'm just going to take it slow and try to avoid breaking stuff or at least expensive stuff. So uh, stay tuned. You can see this angle on this thing is terrible. The uh, top link on this category one hitch is way too short and I had to buy that adapter to go from two to one. So the angle on it's terrible. I'm hoping nothing breaks, but it's pretty sketchy being down like that with that downward angle. Uh, fortunately, the top link on this was only like 25 bucks for the, for the part. So if it breaks, I'm, that's okay. And the, uh, the owner of the uh, blade said, don't worry too much if something happens to break on the blade, but I'm uh, hoping that the lower arm uh, pads uh, quick disconnects don't uh, give out on me because I definitely don't like uh, you know, scraping at this angle. This looks terrible, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. It's getting it done. The better, better look and definitely taking the ruts out doing a little good shaping that this road desperately needs. So we'll keep at it and keep our fingers crossed. This back blade is, I can see is an essential piece of gear. You know, maybe a uh, box blade, an eight foot box blade that sticks out just as wide would work as well. But this is really good with that steep angle to be able to push that dirt off uh, from the edges back into the middle. We're then gonna end up coming back later today with the box blade and trying to level predominantly the ruts out, so stay tuned, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Alright, so you can see how bad those ruts are. is a monster rut. I'm gonna size that one out just 12 or 14 inches deep. I have to straddle that one and uh, try to push dirt into it and clean that one up. Way done. Got most of the big ruts out, and now I'm uh, just scraping it again. One last final pass over the entire thing, moving a little bit more to the center and trying to fill in the ruts and pack the ruts a little bit, and that'll be it. It's actually been a full day to uh, to get this pile stretch reasonable. The soil's been perfect. It's not too wet. It started out a little bit wetter this morning, but it's dried out nicely through the day and it's uh, rolling well and uh, moving around. So I'll let you see out back. The blade's really too small. With the long blade, I can see how the dirt passes from one side to the other over a greater distance. So you have obviously far fewer passes because it doesn't make it out to the end most of the time.
Looking good. With that terrible angle, it's still getting the job done. Fortunately, uh, nothing's broken so far, knock on wood. So, just keep at it. A couple more passes, and that's it. All right, all done for the day. Heading out. Going to spin you around, show you the final product. Looks pretty good. The problem is I don't have a roller, and that's really what this thing needs to finish it and, and packing the ruts as a roller. So I suspect I'm going to hit some of these ruts on the way out and drop into them, not knowing uh, which ones are, you know, or where they are and which ones may be packed. I try to drive over them with the tractor tire to help pack them, but here we go. So not bad. <clears throat> Looks like somebody else already came in on the road. And uh, as long as it doesn't rain before people drive on it again, this will pack in kind of nice, get a hard base again. Um, then I'll have to continue doing it obviously for a while. And as this sand dries out, it turns into sugar sand. And then we got a different set of problems, but this is a, a good start. Yeah, I'm bogging down. Oh, dude, there's a rut. I don't know if you can hear the engine or not, but. Yeah, I'm definitely in four wheel. It looks like oh, a nice smooth ride, but yeah, I find a rut and all of a sudden you're you're down a few inches. It wasn't too bad. Didn't have time to come back and really smooth it out and make it look pretty. That box blade's just too much work. I mean, it really only scrapes about three feet in total so it's a lot of work a lot of passes and that two three miles an hour in the tractor you know uh, that just takes a long time on a one mile dirt road so I'm still going to try to avoid what I believe to be the ruts or at least try to stay in a tractor tire because I know that's going to be a little bit more packed but concerning what it was to start with this thing came a long way. It took me, you know, a full day, about, I don't know, seven hours of constant work to get this thing back up. You see some dirt flying up off my tire, so I'm obviously hitting something soft, but uh, on the way to being healthy again. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck on your box plating project and your road repairs. We'll see you on the next video.